What's up? Your boy Heaven Hollywood. Welcome to the Sports Fanatic. Here we give you the most incredible, objective takes on the world of sports. Today we're going to talk about Shannon Sharp leaving Undisputed. He left Skip Bayless, as we all know, after seven years. And Stephen A. Smith just refuses to let Shannon Sharp forget that Skip Bayless gave him a job. You know, Stephen A. Smith is he works for ESPN. He uh, was on the uprise. He's a beat writer and had a reporter at heart. And first, he worked his tail off coming up in the ranks, ended up getting a job with ESPN, covering the NBA. And he his claim to fame ended up once. I mean, he was already climbing up the ladder, but his claim to fame came when he landed a job opposite of Skip Bayless, a, a sports debate show called First Take. It used to be cold pizza. He changed the first take. Now, the way they used to guard each other, you would have think that they weren't that good of friends. But Stephen A. Smith has always let it be known. Him and Skip Bayless, that's one of his best friends. You've seen him in the past not really want to criticize Skip because they are really good friends behind the scenes. So there have been times where People feel as though Skip had crossed the line, and, and but Stephen A. Smith to say, you know, you know, people would come and say, oh, this dude's just doing this for ratings, and, you know, he has to be doing the way, and then the way he talks about LeBron James, he has to be doing it for ratings. Stephen A. would come and admit, let everybody know, no, he really believes what he says. So he would always get behind Skip Bayless and be like, no, he's not just doing this for ratings, which actually would have been better. He's not actually doing it. He really believes this. Like, he always wants people. This man believes what he says. And he's not going to back down. And this and that. So, he always let people be known that if it wasn't for Skip Bayless, he wouldn't be here. Okay, cool. Shannon Sharp, after seven years on Undisputed, he came up through the ranks. He used to be on the NFL Today. He, um, I think he may have had a small stint at ESPN. I'm not sure. He may have just went to CBS. Then one of the time when um, Skip Bayless moved to FS1, he wanted to do something very similar to what he was doing with First Take. He wanted to start Undisputed. He then uh, told the producers and then the executives that he wanted Shannon Sharp. Right, from the beginning, he wanted Shannon Sharp. And he doesn't care about those other guys. He wants Shannon Sharp. All right, they hired Shannon. <clears throat> They're going at it, at it for seven years. Very successful show. And then uh, it was 2020, the end of 2022. And Shannon Sharp disrespected, excuse me, uh, Skip Bayless disrespected Shannon Sharp. For everybody who didn't remember, it was an issue about Tom Brady. And if for anyone who doesn't remember, just take a quick listen. Still playing at a high level at 45 when you had to stop at 35. Yeah, that's what you that's do. That's the point. That's what you do. Every time somebody, every time I call something into question, I'm jealous. No. Skip, I did well, what I did. I never did. said you were jealous of Baker Mayfield. Skip, I did what I did. You make it seem like I was a bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got three what? Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better way than you. Better. Skip, what are they got to see what you do? You take personal shots. No, when you, for I, don't, I don't take yeah. personal oh, shots. You time started time it. Time out. You would take a personal shot at me. I so didn't take a personal shot at you. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a personal shot. Put your glasses back on. Can I finish? 
You're willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing bad this year? Well, because you 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 dis Go ahead. you disrespect him. It's it's just so. It, so it's you, just, you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You disrespect me to no, support him. No, well I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player who ever have played your it. game, and it's by have far. At it. Have at it. Okay? Take off, bro. I'm going to have at it because I'm going to have at you. And that's what started everything. Did you hear the disrespect? <clears throat> in the voice of, Shan of Skip Bayless, when Shannon Sharp told him, so you're going to take a personal shot at me just because I'm saying Tom Brady's playing bad this year, and he told Shannon Sharp that the only reason that you're saying this about Tom Brady is because you're jealous that he's still playing at 45 when you had to retire at 35. And Shannon said, I did what I did. I'm, I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. You act like I was a bum. And Skip Bayless said, he said, I got three Super Bowl rings. And Skip Bayless said, so what? He was way better than you. And then when Shannon says, you'll take a personal shot at me, Skip says, well, I didn't take any personal shots. What are you talking about? See, Skip Bayless sits here. He's got that slave owner mentality. He sits there. And said, I didn't take personal shots. So that truly, since Stephen A. Smith always wants to say that uh, Skip Bayless truly believes what he, everything says. So Skip Bayless doesn't believe that what he took at Shannon Sharp was a personal shot. He called him jealous. He said, he's way better than you. And he said, so what? He's way better than you. And then he said, you take a personal shot. And then... Shannon took his glasses off, and Skip was about to He's about to say, put your effing, he said, put your f glasses back on. So that's, again, because of there's something in the back of Skip's head that, that has him to believe, you know what? I, put the, I bought this guy on. I fought for this guy. So I have a right, and there may be a little bit of, I'm white and you're not. I'm white and you're black. Notice how he always has to, he always wants black debate partners. Why? Why do you have to have black debate partners? Anybody ever think about that? Stephen A. Smith. Then, uh, then at, at some point, Chris Carter was uh, debating him. Then he got Shannon Sharp. Now I believe he's going to go after another man of color. And it's more to it than he's just giving them an opportunity. And even though after he saw that Shannon Sharp was hurt, that he said those things about him, he never apologized to Shannon. Even as Shannon sat up his last show and started crying, got emotional, started crying, Skip Bayless never dropped a tear. And Skip Bayless still t didn't say, you know what? I'm sorry. He, he said, oh, I love you, brother. Kept saying he loved them, but he, st he loves them so much. But he never apologized. And he knew how that hurt, that hurt Shannon Sharp. Because that was a personal shot. And, and for you to say, how is that a personal shot? What are you talking about? Like, like, like Shannon's crazy. And that brings me to Stephen A. Smith who constantly has said, he said now between three and five times, he just refuses to talk down on Skip Bayless. He refuses to say Skip is wrong. He refuses to say Skip needs to apologize to Shannon. But he wants to keep on reminding Shannon that there is no Shannon Shaw if it ain't for Skip Bayless. I am not where I am today if it's not for Skip Bayless. And he is here, the people talk, and that's why he says, oh, and people may say that there is some sort of other ulterior in intent, but I'm talking about his results. So Stephen A. Smith is basically saying he don't care why he hired Shannon Sharp. But the point is, he did hire Shannon Sharp, and he fought for Shannon Sharp when no one else did. And for what, you know, he made Shannon a big star. He tried to make it seem as though Shannon 
was a bum. Yes, he he got he got respect coming off NBA, but NFL. But he didn't have this same respect coming here from CBS. He didn't have this same respect when you know coming from football to to you know ESPN or when he first got here. But now seven years later, he's a big time player in the in the media game. He wasn't a big player in the media game before he, Skip Bayless. And I'd say to Stephen A., I defend Stephen A. a lot. I'm a big Stephen A. fan. Big Stephen A. fan. And I defend Stephen A. a lot because a lot of black people call him coon. A lot of black people call him a tap dancer, you know, shuffle along, Cassidy and stuff like that. And wherein I don't believe Stephen A. is a coon because I've seen him go to bat for too many black people. I've seen him speak on black issues too many times. I've seen Stephen A. Smith get in trouble for speaking out against what's right. I mean, against what's uh, not right. I've seen him get in trouble for speaking up for what's right. So I don't think that he's a coon. But when he does takes like this, I can see why others that have not been following you as long or looking at you as closely, I can see why they would think you're a coon, if that makes sense. You don't have to keep reminding us, brother, that Skip Bayless hired Shannon Sharp. Thank you, Massa, for letting me stay in the house instead of out in the field. Because that's what it sounds like. Like, because this white man brought me on and gave me opportunities that others wouldn't have gave me, I have to be indebted to him for life. How, how many times Shannon Sharp kept bringing it up? He brought it up again. How many times does Shannon Sharp, how long does Shannon Sharp have to thank Skip Bayless? And just because Skip Bayless is responsible for Shannon Sharp being on Undisputed, that does not mean that Skip Bayless gets a chance to talk to Shannon Sharp any way he wants. That's like if somebody gives me a job, somebody hires me somewhere. That gives them the right to disrespect me because they hired me? No. Shannon Sharp is still a man at the end of the day. Yes, and Skip Bayless gave him that opportunity, but it's not like Shannon Sharp didn't do anything. Shannon Sharp still had to work his tail off. And even though he gave him the job, Shannon Sharp still had to complete the job and get up and dedicate himself getting there, never took a sick day off, and, and was there. The only time he took the day off was when that controversy with DeMar Hamlin. That, to me, was the uh, story about the camel's back. But Stephen A. Smith stopped reminding Shannon Sharp that, oh, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Skip Bayless. We don't know that. Okay, we don't know that. Thank you, Skip. Sure, he's giving them thanks, but that still doesn't give you the right to talk to me and tell me, put my glasses back on like I'm your boy. Shannon, I would have never, I would have left them jokers off for the rest of the show. And when he told me, put your glass back on, I would have told him, who you think you talking to? I would have said it right there on the show. Who do you think you're talking to? This tiptoeing around Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless hires people. He has an interior motive. He hires people that he feels as though is going to be non-confrontational. That's why he hired Skip uh, Shannon. Now you watch him go and hire somebody else. He's not going to hire somebody that 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 it feel as though will be you know. Oh, if he says something to them personal, they'll just smile and laugh like how Shannon was doing. And Shannon, I would have never dropped a tear. I wouldn't have dropped one tear for that sucker, because he didn't drop no tears for you. He ain't got no respect for you, and he still didn't apologize. He saw you sat up, th sat out there crying. He still haven't apologized to this day, and he feels, and he won't, because he feels as though, number one, I don't have to apologize because I didn't do anything wrong. And number two, if it wasn't for me, 
he wouldn't even have a show for me to yell at him. And as long as you got brothers like Stephen A. Smith carrying on that same mentality, Skip Bayless is going to act the same way with the next black host, black co-host that he goes and gets. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood. For the IE Network, this has been the Sports Fanatic.